be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and hit those bell notifications so you know when I'm going to post. Today's video is a pretty cool one. I'm going to be showing you some new ways to create tracks in Logic Pro 10. Okay, this is a brand new way. Most people don't know about this way to create tracks. Let me just kind of go over some of the uh, the normal way to create tracks in Logic Pro 10. Like, so for instance, say if you have this like audio track right here right if you want to double that track you would push command d right that's the normal way or you go back up here to this like plus sign you can go over here and select a track there and audit another audio track right but or, i mean and obviously the other way is to go over here to um up here to the top and go to tracks as well but one thing that most people don't know is if you already have like say an audio track or an instrument track or whatever and say you want to just create a new audio or instrument track whatever one you're trying to create that you've just created all you have to do is double click in this area right here and it will create a new track literally that's all i'm doing is double clicking so check this out let's say that you you're making beats right and you got your sophomore instrument track right here and you're like man you know what i just want another sophomore instrument track or whatever kind of track it is let's just change the track to this uh sampler i can just double click on here and now another instrument track comes up and i can you know saying this is a su super cool simple trick man that to create new tracks instead of having like to go up here and then go through this whole process or do with some hot key but i wanted to show you that tip thanks for watching if you liked the video man make sure you go ahead and do a thumbs up on the video and until next time i'll see you later all right peace